Hi, so welcome to another video. So this one is answering what energy is associated with 530 nanometers and we want to have our answer in kilojoules per mole. So there's an extra little step at the end for this one. So the triangles or the formulas that we'll be using today is the one that relates Planck's constant to energy divided by frequency and the other one is frequency which is the speed of light divided by the wavelength in meters. So um, to start off with, let's put together the information that we've got. So we know that the wavelength equals 530 nanometers. So converting this to meters, it would be, um, so 530 times 10 to the minus nine meters. So what else we have is the speed of light. So C equals 2.998 by 10 to the eight and we can solve for the frequency. So if we put this little puzzle together first, the frequency equals 2.998 by 10 to the eight divided by, so we're working out frequency, so the speed of light divided by the wavelength. So it would be 530 by 10 to the minus nine, and we get out 5.657 times 10 to the minus 14 hertz. So now that we have the frequency in hertz, we can then move on to the second expression. So this is Planck's constant times the frequency, which we'll, we've worked out. Planck's constant is a constant, so we know that value, and we can work out that energy. So I'll write it over here. So the energy, in, this will come out in joules, so it will be 6.6 .6 by 10 to the minus 34. Um, so we're working out the top, so it will leave the Planck's constant times the frequency, which was 5.657 by 10 to the minus 14. So if I put that into my calculator. Okay, so I got 3.74 by 10 to the 19 joules. So converting into kilojoules, because this is what my answer wanted me to have it in, it would be 3.74 by 10 to the minus 22 kilojoules. Now I need to take this into per mole. So I'm going back to a different triangle. So this one here, I'll write right here, I guess. So the number of things is the number of moles times the Avogadro's, uh, which is 6.02 times 10 to the 23. That's his number. Okay, so the number from Avogadro. So the number of things that we're looking at is we're looking at the photon of light, so the energy um, which would come into place here. And then we divide that by Avogadro's number and then that should give us the moles that we're after. Okay, so the kilojoules divided by Avogadro's number will give us our value in per mole. So let's write that out. So 